Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Uh, in today's video we're going to be continuing uh, tutorials on how to use Comfy UI and today's video is going to be about face swapping and uh, you can check out the uh, playlist. Uh, we have just finished up uh, uh, Control Net using Control Net and Comfy UI and went through a lot of videos there so make sure to check them out and make sure to subscribe. We're getting really close to 1000 subscribers and that's really exciting for me. Thank you all for subscribing, liking, sharing. That really, really helps. So without uh, further ado, uh, let's talk about uh, face swapping. I'm going to be doing a really easy and simple workflow for face swapping. As you can see, this is the loaded image that we want to replicate the face for. And this is the generated image that has the face that we want to replace. And on the right here is the face that it has been replaced. So this image got the face of this image and it was combined here. So as you can see, it's a really simple and uh, powerful tool uh, for character consistency. And it's not really that hard. It's really, really easy as you will see uh, in a bit. It just needs some setup. So the, the node that I'm using is a Reactor Fast Face Swap. It's called Reactor Fast Face Swap can install this using the install custom nodes from the manager. If you have the Comfy UI manager, I highly recommend installing this Comfy UI manager. If you don't, uh, then there's a, a GitHub page that I'm going to be leaving in the description below. Uh, with this node, all you have to do is uh, you need to input at the image that you generate into the input image and the source image that has the face you want to replicate, which is this one, goes into the source image right here. And the, the image we generate from the case sampler goes into the input image right there. And the output swapped face is going to be coming out of this output of this node. And uh, what I'm doing is I, I'm taking this image here into the uh, C plus save image, which is my work organizer. I just uh, pick where wa I want to save my images. I have a bunch of settings here uh, also that uh, help me organize my work. This is available in my coffee page as well. And this is the output image that we get. So uh, the workflow, I'm going to be also sharing the workflow in the description below. So you can download it and use it. Uh, so this node needs a little bit of setup to get it working. So the first model you need is the swap model. This is the nswapper 128onnx You download this model from, you go to the uh, Comfy uh, UI Reactor node, and you scroll down, all the way down, all the way down. So it's downloaded from... So you keep scrolling down, <laughs> you might miss it. So it's really, I'll see there. So this is a uh, click here. You download this model, this one here, and uh, you save it into Comfy UI models inside face. So you have to save it into this directory here. And after that, you need face detection model, a face detection model. So I'm using ResNet 50. There are different models that you can use. You don't have to use these, but this is uh, what I'm using and I find, uh, you know, useful and accurate. So this one, the ResNet 50 is available here. ResNet 50 o o w g Hugging Face. Going to be also leaving this in the description. And uh, code former, this is face restore model. So this, this is also optional. This one is optional. Uh, what it does is that it rest restores the face after it uh, replaces it. So it makes it more realistic. It doesn't have any, you know. So this one also I'm going to be leaving in the description. So this one you save into, let's see, face detection for ResNet 50. Uh, face restore for the code code former and insight face for the uh, n swapper 128 so these are the file the folders that you need to save into comfy ui models 
And after that, you just hit generate and you get these results. So I hope you like the video uh, and make sure to subscribe because I'm going to be doing much more uh, on Comfy UI uh, tutorials. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.